my name is Leo Stintz. Name's Teddy Rimkit. Uh, we are from Clintwood, Tennessee. We do believe in extraterrestrial beings. In fact, we we have spent a lot of our time and our lives and our money on <coughs> bless you. <coughs> yes. Yeah, so we decided to become roommates, and uh, we moved into this small house. It's a pretty good deal. We live out in the outskirts of town here. Uh, your thoughts can travel light years away and be <coughs> intercepted. God bless. They're multilingualists. All, all the aliens uh, that we have come forth upon with our findings have found, we've, our findings do indicate, they, 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 all, they all indicate they're multilingualists. And we got an ambulance, that's where we kind of do our, our scientific testing. We got this real cool place down in the basement where uh, we can hide out and the aliens can't find us and it's lined with aluminum so they can't read our thoughts when we're in there. We keep all sorts of things down there. These big spaceships out in this courtyard, we can see right over the fence, and that that just keeping that from the people is like putting a blindfold on. <coughs> and so I look through this, and I can see things. They they brighten up on here. They get a little brighter when I look through here, things that have been in outer space. You gotta find the crotons, and the only way to do it is with a monocular and with this Brunston ligand. Right it picks up the, uh, the crotons, lets me know where they're getting stronger, where they're getting weaker. It's kind of like a metal detector, but for crotons. And I've learned more on blocks than I ever will in any school. Uh, I believe that the heart is the most powerful education tool there is because the heart has the, the capacity to bring you right to truth and it has the capacity to, to transport your feelings and your thoughts out into space and to get them close enough to extraterrestrial beings that it will make a difference when they do come to take over. There are very few people like us that are willing to make the effort to communicate with extraterrestrials. Um, we can kind of use that to help find the trajectory of where things have crashed and uh, kind of find these certain objects that we do believe have been sent from extraterrestrials. We see objects that are, that are clearly from extraterrestrial beings and were built by extraterrestrial beings and that in fact we can find things that the government missed and so we will be the first to find an extraterrestrial on earth. Things like the Great Wall of China or the pyramids or anything like that, I don't know, the Grand Canyon how did people build those? Nobody knows the history behind those things because there was aliens, there was extraterrestrials helping them out. How could they lift rocks that big to make a pyramid? How could they lift rocks that big to make the Great Wall of China? And how could they dig out that much earth to make the Grand Canyon? Couldn't have been done without aliens. You explain that to me. Now, quantized physics is one of the main things that I've discovered is a VCR will keep your privacy at night. It'll keep your privacy. Now, it sucks up the crotons and omits AOs. You take your ligate, uh, which uh, picks up the crotons, and the way you charge this, you just plug it right in there into your VCR, and it does a downloading process. Now, I, the reason I have this is so I can have privacy at night when I am uh, trying to sleep. Because... <coughs> Now the reason I have a VCR is because I'm sneezing all the time and I'm not a sneezing man. Didn't grow up a sneezing man. My family is not a sneezing kind. We don't sneeze. And all I want to do is stop sneezing. And the only way that my theory is that a VCR by your bed, by your bed, by your bed at night is gonna keep, is gonna keep you, I'm sorry, I'm gonna retain my posture here. The only way to sleep at night is to have a VCR by your side and keep the crotons in and the AODs out. Because I don't want my brain polarized. People like you that come down here film us and film what we do, which is really important. People like you that can share this knowledge and can share this quanti expertise with the rest of the community and the rest of America. So thank you. Thank you.